Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here. Got my good friend, Mr. George Lobianco. Hello. Guys, it has been like literally a year since we've done a video together, since we've done any real eating together. Um, so we are excited to be going to literally what is America's number one buffet. Yes, what is claimed to be America's number one buffet, according to them. Now we have been before. I'm a fan. Are you a fan? Oh, I'm a huge fan. So guys, we had a blast last time we were here. This is quite a drive for us, to be honest, we've been driving for quite a bit. We are about 10 minutes away. We're both chomping at the bit, like we are ready to ready to eat, no pun intended. Yeah, yeah so it should be fun. Some of my favorites here, guys, we, when we were before, I mean, they had everything from like, believe it they had a great meatloaf, they had great burgers, yeah, they'd make burgers to order. They have American classics. We had um, like fried fish, we had fried chicken. I think they had tacos, um, all kinds of desserts. So anyway, guys, let's get to America's number one buffet. Let's go eat some food. And the self-proclaimed number one buffet in the USA, Golden Corral. We made it. Woo, woo, woo. Hey everyone, real quick, I want to thank sponsor today's video being Established Titles. A fun and novel way to preserve not only the natural woodlands of Scotland, but also global reforestation projects. Established Titles is based on the historic Scottish custom where landowners are known as lords, ladies, and lards. The title pack gives you at least one square foot of land with a unique plot number which is dedicated to you on a private estate in Edelston, Scotland. And of course, an official certificate and crest. So Established Titles works with global charities such as One Tree Planted and Trees for the Future. And with every order, you're directly supporting these global reforestation efforts. So for every order, one tree is planted. What's really cool is you could include the uh, title of Lord or Lady on, you know, like your plane ticket, your credit card statement. It actually makes a great little gift. And the first 200 people to purchase a title pack using my direct link down below will effectively actually be next to my own plot. And technically, I mean, we could make a little bit of a, I don't know, Joel Hansen kingdom. So with the holiday season coming up and you need a great, unique gift, definitely check out established titles and in fact, they're running a massive Black Friday sale. And right now, if you use the code Hansen, you'll get an additional 10% off. So go to establishedtitles.com forward slash Hansen and get your gifts now and support the channel. Hi everyone, so we made it on in. We got ourselves some lovely looking food. George got himself everything from like meatloaf, pulled pork, pot roast, all the good favorites. I'm gonna start with some uh, vegetables. I love a good salad to start. And then I got some fried chicken. It just came out fresh. It looks nice and crispy. I got myself some catfish, some other vegetables. Again, I like to start with that health. But guys, it has been a long time since we've been here. Mm -hmm. I actually see the owner here. We had an interesting experience with him before. I'll link that video in the description down below. But I have a full bottle of hot sauce, a full bottle of ketchup. It's all I need. I'm a happy man. How's, that? How's everything, George? Very good. Very good. That's what I want to hear. I even went with an iced tea today. Because I'm in America. When you're in America, you gotta drink yourself some good old iced tea. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we are at the self-proclaimed number one buffet in America, the Golden Corral. So even though I do like the Golden Corral, I might even say I love the Golden Corral on many occasions. I don't know if it's quite the number one buffet, but let me know if you think it is down below. What I do is I get the coleslaw as the dressing. Try to take the coleslaw and put it right on it. So me and my friends George came to really push ourselves and push this buffet to the limit and kind of see how much we could actually eat. It had been a really long time since uh, not only we were at the Golden Corral or at a buffet together, but more specifically since we tried to really push things um, for our you know capacity limits at a buffet. I was gonna get some pulled pork back. I didn't have room on the plate. George had taken almost a year off of kind of doing any sort of competitive eating, etc. Um, whereas I obviously had been a bit more active throughout the process, so this was good to get back together. I always eat your veggies, kids. These are some of the pot roast vegetables. Are you guys okay? Very good. Alright, 
Moment of truth, everybody. Let's get into some of this delicious looking fried chicken. Nice and, oh, it's yeah, definitely crispy. Nice and hot. Woo, look at that. And we have this catfish. Mm. Mm. I love this stuff. The only one thing I do wish is I have to wait till this comes out fresh. This fried chicken is hot, crispy. This, honestly, cornmeal batter. It is so perfect even by itself. You really don't need to add anything. But if you do add a little bit of hot sauce, or my favorite mix, ketchup and hot sauce. Actually, even by itself is damn good. But I love that ketchup and hot sauce mix. If you haven't tried it, it's the best thing ever, guys. Spicy ketchup. Mm. Perfect. George got some. More pork, meatloaf, More pork, meatloaf, stuffing, potato stuffing, cornbread. Nice. You're eating good. Green beans, yeah. George is all about. Well, we both are. We both love kind of those traditional American, almost Southern classics. Yep. And George is definitely getting into those so far. He doesn't like catfish, although I tell him to try that catfish. Yep. It is dang good. All right, guys. Fried chicken, delicious, crispy fried chicken. Hot. Not bad, this is a breast. So talking about the food, the Golden Corral is usually really solid for a few items. Some of my personal favorites being like catfish, fried chicken, meatloaf. Mm. Oh yeah. And while the fried chicken was good, I will say today it wasn't quite up to the normal standard. Um, it was almost like it was a little, I don't know if like undercooked was the proper terminology, but none the less, um, you know, which I mean is, is all kind of part of it, right? It's kind of a bit of a hit or miss. You know, you go different locations, it's always different, and even just different cooks. So the flavor's good, but for some reason this particular piece of fried chicken almost seems a little tough, which sounds weird. But... And it's just that piece. Oh, that is a piece of nice, greasy, crispy skin. Mm. Ain't nothing calorie free about that. Nope. George is all about packing on some weight, weight, weight nowadays, so oh, yeah. he's eating good. Try the thigh. Might be a little undercooked, so I think I might leave that one. I think it's a little... All right, let's try some more fried chicken. All right, everybody. So I'm getting uh, they they just brought out a new tray of catfish. So I literally got the biggest full tray of cat, like full plate of catfish. Basically, I love this stuff. I got some of their pulled pork, the barbecue pork. I've never tried the barbecue pork before. I usually get the pulled pork. It's smoked. It's delicious. One of my all-time favorites here. I like when there's a little bit of barbecue sauce. Maybe I'll try to get some. I got some uh, broccoli, some of their green beans, which are great, and some of that pot roast, which is usually a classic. I always ensure I get my vegetables in. I'm all about that health life, and they're just personally some of my favorite items. They're delicious. I mean, the broccoli's good. It's steamed broccoli. What do you expect? Mm, it was green beans, though. All these plates, though, really encompass some of my favorites. I mean, that pot roast, that green beans, you know, that catfish, all just so delicious in the pork. Let's try this pot roast. This pot roast is literally just like fork tender. Mm. Mm. Fall apart, melt in your mouth. 
And this pot roast is also another item not to forget when you're at the Golden Corral. In a beef gravy, very thick beef gravy. Next, try this barbecue pork. Mm. So it's definitely a braised pork shoulder, and it's in a light barbecue sauce. It's sweet. That's good. Ooh, George. Mm -hmm. Check this out, guys. Move this cup. George got some chocolate pie, which blueberry looks pie. awesome, a blueberry pie and a cupcake. Cupcake, yeah. I tell you, that chocolate pie is usually my favorite. Try this smoked pulled pork. This looks awesome. Oop, losing it. But that being said, looks delicious. Mmm. Mmm. Woo! Something about smoked meats, Chris. I just love. I'm definitely gonna get some more of that smoked pulled pork. How's the chocolate pie? Really good. Really good, yeah. Now this was an item I was really looking forward to. I love catfish. Try this hot and fresh catfish. Mm. Mm. Ooh. Really hot. That is crispy, tender, and delicious. And if you haven't tried ketchup and hot sauce, try that mix, guys. It is absolutely amazing. Well, let's get that ketchup hot sauce mix going, guys. Damn good. I've been wanting some fried catfish for a while. It's been a long time. Thank you. Crispy. A little bit of that sweetness, that acidity, that sodium, that spice. How's the pie? Very good. Very good. Blueberry? Blueberry was good. So I was lucky enough to get this hot fish come out hot and fresh and if you guys want to know how to best navigate a buffet, when you first arrive obviously see what looks like it's new, what see like it's fresh and try little bits of items. Don't commit too much to one. Whereas, you know, if like, let's say you go up and they have barely any uh, catfish and it looks like it's been sitting there for a while, wait for a new tray. Monopolize on the items while they're hot and after you know they taste good. All right, now we're getting a little crazier. Let's be honest, got some more catfish. I got some of their uh, meatloaf, which is really good. Here they top with a gravy, some places they top with ketchup. I then have some broccoli. Then we got a great big thing of green beans and a massive pile of the smoked pulled pork. They just put up a new one. So I had to get it. Had to get it while they had it, which is freaking delicious stuff. Oh, we had some light coming in. It's a little weird, but nonetheless. So I'm gonna dive on into this. So wait, that sun that's coming in, that's actually reflecting off of a car windshield. All right, let's try this meatloaf, guys. It's super, super tender, juicy. Mmm. Just fall apart, melt in your mouth. It's actually super rich. Mm. That is not calorie free. Now these two plates were really off plates. For some reason, everything seemed really oily, like overly fatty, at least compared to normal. Man, this meatloaf is heavy. Really? I know, I did like eight slices of it. <laughs> wow. I would have figured normally that these recipes were and ingredients were standardized, but maybe they aren't. If you know otherwise, let me know, you know, essentially down below. Uh, Alright, so like I said, I got some catfish, but I also got some of their tartar sauce, a little bit of the tartar sauce. <coughs> so I remember being very delicious. Good. Oh, I tell you, that meatloaf though, man, that was so rich, so heavy. It was. See, you know, I don't recall it being that heavy before, man. No, neither. Yeah, no, maybe like, so it seems extra rich yeah. today, would you agree? Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, super fatty today. Again, not saying it's necessarily a bad thing yeah, for no. taste, but it was almost like, I don't know. It was definitely really thick and rich. Yeah, I took two pieces. I only would have had one 
what I know is gonna be that rich. Yeah. All right, next, giant plate of smoked pulled pork. Angry beans. And she gave me some barbecue sauce. I don't know what barbecue sauce this is. Sometimes when you go, they have like bottles of it. And they have a few different varieties. Yeah. My favorite is called the Smokehouse. All right, guys, let's get into this massive pile of smoked pulled pork. Again, this was awesome. I liked it better. You, you liked it better than the barbecue I, pork, right? I did, yeah. Bar pork, barbecue pork was good. Good, but I, I like the smoked better. Yeah, I mean, I love that smoked meat, so. Yeah. Mmm. Woo! Man, I tell you, this one is rich, too. They got it sitting in its, in its own oil. Yeah. Definitely have to listen to it. Yeah, it is rich and savory. Makes it very filling. Oh, Even this is pretty oily compared to what I remember. Yeah. Try with some barbecue sauce. I don't know, I would assume it's like a standardized recipe, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't think, you, like, pulled pork, I don't think they're, uh, I don't think you can get much fatter than a, pull, a pork shoulder in general, but yeah. that being said, they're definitely not draining it. Yeah, no, no, definitely not. The meatloaf, I don't know though. Yeah. So was, that was that was that rich. rich. Yeah. This this makes sense. It's sitting in its own juice, but that meatloaf, like I said, I've never had it that it's rich. Women in gravy. So while this pulled pork is normally one of my favorite items, this tray in particular was so greasy, it was so fatty, um, the other ones weren't like it. I don't know why this one ended up with all the drippings, but honestly it was so much it was almost off-putting. Like, look at the plate, there's really like a, a pile of grease. <laughs> well, I'll be honest, I actually, I actually wish it was less greasy. Definitely a little, little greasy, a little oily. All right, so I grabbed some more veggies, got some Brussels sprouts this time, green beans, broccoli, and I got some catfish, big plate of catfish. Like I said, I really liked the taste of that smoked pulled pork, but man, that last batch was rich, rich, like oily. Like two, too, too, man, yeah. they're both super rich. Yeah, Milo was extra rich, um, but yeah, so I don't know. I, so like I said, even looking at that pulled pork again, even though it tasted good, it's just a little too oily for me today, or at least right now, is how I feel in this moment. So do some non-oily veggies. Hit this catfish. I'll grab some more fried chicken, wait for them to put some more out. They also have pineapple, one of my favorites. Yeah. Mm. Ooh, the Brussels sprouts are good today. Which was your favorite? Chocolate pie was good. Blueberry was okay, but the chocolate pie was better. Yeah, the chocolate pie is my favorite. Yeah. The cupcake was okay, it was a cupcake. Right. Pretty standard, right? Yeah. Do you like banana pudding? I do, yeah. They have a good banana pudding. Yeah. And that's one thing I always try to do. I always try to keep it real. Whether it's good, it's good. Whether it's bad and it's bad, I always try to be honest, even if I love the Golden Corral. This some new catfish again. Ooh. Hot and crispy. I'm definitely lucking out on the timing of this catfish. Now this catfish was definitely the star item for me today. Not only was I craving it because I hadn't had it in probably like eight months, but it was coming out hot, it was coming out fresh. I really like the way they batter it and bread it with that cornmeal. Again, with my personal favorite mix of hot sauce and ketchup, it is just oh so good. It's sweet, salty, just that lovely seafood flavor. Ah, so, so, so delicious. Um, that being said, I gotta say, 
I really do think Golden Corral makes some good catfish in general. Like, again, I'm sure this is a standardized recipe, but they know how to do it pretty dang well, even if it comes frozen. Well, I definitely said I wanted to get some catfish, and I definitely have no shortage of catfish today. Ooh. I think maybe I'll grab some fruit. All right, went and got some fruit. Got a big plate of pineapple, some cantaloupe. This pineapple looks awesome. Got that sun track in there again, but even this cantaloupe looks really good. Not bad. But I have high hopes for that pineapple. It looks really right. Delicious. Mm. Mm. Oh, perfect. So sweet. So mm. right. I think pineapple's my favorite fruit. Let me know your favorite fruit down below. In my opinion, one of the least utilized items at buffets are the fresh fruits. Fresh fruits are very expensive and I always love to dive into some good pineapple. Sometimes at them they have strawberries, um, sometimes melons, you know, kind of all those items. But I really do think this is an item often overlooked. That was amazing. I'm definitely gonna get some more. Grabbed another plate of that delicious freaking pineapple. It was damn good the first time. This looks equally as good. Again, you can just tell with the dark tones of that pineapple. Mm. Oh man. It's like better than candy. So right. Well, I guarantee I've eaten at least one, if not one and a half whole pineapples. Trust me, I do it at home regularly. Between that two, at least one and a half. At least one, I think one and a half. Delicious. I don't know what else I'm gonna have. That was a great way to break it up from all that super, super rich foods. There's more fried chicken up there. Maybe I'll try another piece. I'm gonna give another shot, because earlier was a little bit of a mishap. But, uh, We'll see what they got. Maybe I'll start heading towards dessert. All right, so I got another piece of fried chicken. We'll give it a shot. I did actually get some more of the smoked pulled pork. They put up a new tray, and this tray is not swimming in oil. I think it's gonna be a lot better. And I got some broccoli. So let's see if these meats redeem, redeem the <laughs> redeem the first yeah. time. It's a little little much, a minute, you know, the first round. So yeah. start with this pulled pork. Oh, mm. much better. So that last plate was swimming in grease. Yeah. This one, there's no no swimmable grease. <laughs> yeah. For the better. That's really good. Now this is the smoked pulled pork I know and love. Oh yeah, nice crispy steamy.
one got some more fruit. They have uh, some pineapple, so it's new cantaloupe out. I figured I would give it a shot. And then I may or may not turn to dessert. Pineapple is better. Ooh. Yeah, that's sun back though. Oh, boy. All right, I figure it's time to get into some dessert. So we got some banana pudding. I have good banana pudding here. I got some soft serve ice cream with a hot caramel sauce. I got a snickerdoodle cookie. And a piece of chocolate pie. Oh yeah. All right, thank you. I will probably start with the chocolate pie. I don't remember how sweet it is, but Yeah, chocolate pie is good. Pretty dang good. It's like a chocolate mousse with cream. Rich though. Try a snickerdoodle. It's basically a shortbread cookie with cinnamon in it. Let's try this banana pudding. Whipped cream, vanilla wafers. Mm. Woo. Oh yeah. Real bananas. And ice cream with hot caramel. The soft serve here, I find, is always only okay, but you know, put some of that caramel in with it. Mm. Much better. Sweeter, but better. All right, so no more chocolate pie. And unfortunately, they don't need chocolate uh, strawberries up at the moment, but hopefully they do. Got a little bit more uh, banana pudding. Got myself a big fat ice cream, which just made a mess all over because it is melting. And a chocolate covered marshmallow, chocolate dipped marshmallow. They don't have the fondue anymore, they just kind of do it like this. It's a marshmallow chocolate. That caramel though is the key to that ice cream. So imagine this, imagine you came for breakfast, and then you stayed for lunch and stayed for dinner. <laughs> you think they'd kick you out? Let me know down below, maybe we should give it a try one day. Did you try it? You can try it. Wanna spend 12 hours at Golden Crown? <laughs> Delicious, but sweet. Just put some caramel over that banana cream pudding. I did a little bit. Did you? Next level is sweetness. When sugar is not enough, add more sugar. Right. I don't know. I could probably still walk. <laughs> Anymore, I might need a wheelchair, but maybe a little more ice cream I could do, but well, give me a second, I'll find out. All right, really, this is gonna be the end of it, but we got uh, some chocolate covered strawberries, we didn't try them yet, ice cream and caramel, and one more piece of chocolate pie. The only thing I was missing is the banana pudding. No, I'm just kidding.
I don't need that. Try the, try the chocolate covered strawberries. I mean, it's pretty good. I do like chocolate covered strawberries. Although I do miss the fondue. I don't know if that's a chocolate hot. That's why they don't have it now. Worried right of people's you know hands getting it out. Hygienic purposes. Chocolate pie. Last but not least, ice cream. How was everything today, George? Everything was real good. I haven't favorite? had it in a long time. It has been a long time. Do you have a favorite? Uh, the meatloaf was really good. Super meatloaf? rich, but really good. Yeah, meatloaf was oddly rich today. I agree, it was good. Yeah. But it was oddly like fatty today. Oh, wow. That cornbread was good too. I didn't try it. It looked good. They call it like a corn cornbread pudding. A cornbread pudding. Yeah. Real thick was it? Or? Real thick and they had like thin corn stuff in it. Ah. Hey, do I'm anyway. Hope you enjoyed today's video. We eat a lot of food. Yeah. A lot of food. Yeah. I'm not hungry. I'm definitely the opposite of hungry. I'm sick of eating, in fact. I was off the Krispy Kreme. No. <laughs> not no, for me. No, just kidding. Not for me. <laughs> anyway, yeah, like I said, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below. It's been a while since we crushed a buffet. Very long time. And overall, the experience was good. Good, good experience. Mm -hmm. At least, mostly. Some things could have been a little better, but yeah, that's kind of buffet. You know, some things are better than others. Some days, like I really liked the catfish today. The fried chicken wasn't as great, but normally it's real good. We learned sometimes things differ yeah. and vary. Even just batch to batch, so. That's it, I got no more words. I'm very full. This is cold. Good. Tasty though. So the next time everybody. Don't do what I do. Don't do what George does. <laughs> this is the self-proclaimed America's number one buffet. The Golden Corral. Mm -hmm. So until next time, everybody's happy. I you're happy eating. About that. Have a lovely day. Hey, guess what? You rock. Yes, you rock. Thank you so much for watching the video. I totally appreciate it. I hope you left me a comment down below. I'd love to read them. I hope you also liked that video. Hey, by the way, click my face. You can subscribe. Yes, subscribe. That way you always get my uploads. You won't miss me when I'm in your town. And I also picked two videos for you. Yes, two videos I know you'll love right here. So watch one of those, hit my face. And at that, thank you so much. You rock.